Now let's turn to the words of Jesus about worship in the New Testament. John chapter 4, these are familiar words to Bible readers. John the fourth chapter. Jesus is talking to the Samaritan woman at Jacob's well. Without going into the background, he says, But the hour is coming, and now is, when the true worshippers will worship the Father in spirit and truth. For the Father is seeking such to worship him. That's a remarkable statement, isn't it? Almighty God is seeking for those who will worship him. But we have to worship him according to his terms, in spirit and in truth. And then Jesus goes on in the next verse, God is spirit, and those who worship him must worship in spirit and in truth. So in worship, I believe, it's our spirit that relates directly to God as spirit. See, according to the Bible, man consists of three elements, spirit, soul, and body. I think our soul is very active in praise and thanksgiving. But when it comes to worship, then it's our spirit in direct communion with God's spirit. And we must worship him in spirit and in truth. Without the Holy Spirit, <coughs> We really cannot worship him. I think those of you who've had an experience of being filled with the Holy Spirit will bear me out. It changes the way you worship. You have a new dimension. Uh, that doesn't make us perfect or superior to other people, but it, it does release something in us that makes us capable of appreciating what worship ought to be. But it also says in truth. And truth, I believe, requires sincerity. And I really believe it's extremely important that we learn to be sincere in our worship. 